Yeah, that is a key spot yeah. of what's happening. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah. Like yeah. a beep. It's just a warm up. Oh! oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Ah! That's like the worst of everything you've done today. So the main concern today is really this, this sort of hip hip back here, low back that yep. just won't seem to go away and the pain down the front of the leg Correct. so far is not there. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's there. there. It's okay, there. It, it it's not, back up. it, okay. it kind of comes, it goes. It was, it had pretty much gone away again yeah, okay. it's back. for about three months okay. and then within the last three weeks it's, okay crept up a little bit. The worst would be if I have my legs straight out and I would go bend and grab my toes. Yeah, okay. Anything pinching you feel it there. in here, and it it's in there and it's in here. Everything I feel here. Okay. But there's something about this bend we're forwarding, especially with a straight leg. Okay. That have you noticed a difference <coughs> with that stretching when you're sitting versus standing? Um, we'll try that. I'd say it's worse sitting. Yeah. Everything is worse sitting. Yeah. Sitting in general is my nemesis. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we can see you right, you right handed. Yes. Yeah. It's really common, you know, dominant side can be a lot lower. Sometimes it's muscular related. Um, but a lot of times it's just related to you just use your right arm a lot more. You have more muscle density and hangs yeah. lower, but it's, it's pretty pronounced on you. Not very much forward head posture at all. Mm -hmm. um, let's bring your arm here. But then we can kind of see some lordosis here. Or anterior pelvic tilt. Some I hairs are stuck in here. here. <laughs> Constant problem. Yeah. And this is years of work in the making. I can show you what I how yeah. I'd like to stand, <laughs> which is like this. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. worked really hard to yeah. get. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, the non-appropriate title of that is GBS. Yeah. Ghetto booty syndrome. Yep. Got it. It's interesting to see how my right arm touches my body. When yeah, my well, you're, you're shifted, you know, you can really see how you're just completely shifted, you know, and you're like, Psh. yeah, this guy yeah. feels so far. It's like your upper body's going one way. And <laughs> you're, yeah, yeah. Let's get to work. I think the goal really today is hip flexors. Okay. Um, we're going to see what we can do with those hip flexors. Um, so I really, I'm probably just going to leave you as, as is, mm -hmm. and we're going to be moving you around. We're going to do some, some tests here, okay. work on your abs, work on your psoas, work on hip flexors. Yep. I want you to reach for your toes. I want you to, you know, go as, like far, go, go, yeah, go as far as you can. Stretch your hammies. All the way up. Or just reach. Or just Yeah, really stretch. Yeah. Is it hard for you to sit up? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good to know as well. Get an idea of how bad does that hurt going to the angles. Yeah. Oh, that feels terrible when I put my, uh, flex yeah. my feet. Yeah. There. Everything's Back. right there. Anything in the hip? Nope. Okay. Is that as far as you can go? Uh, I'm inhibited by this. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to be quite a bit more flexible with all the, with all the beat drum. Yeah. No, you should have seen when I started. I was like this. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Lift this up as high as you can. Good. Hold this one for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold that for me. That's, I mean, that's it right there. That's it. Good done work. Remember, you're trying to do everything to hold this here. Can you posterior pelvic tilt right now? So tuck, tuck your pelvis. No. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Does that give you more of a stretch or no? Uh, a little bit maybe. No, not much. It's just like an almost. Yeah, you got too much range of motion. Yeah. For me to access. That's why you need me. Go face up. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. Your calves are pretty tight. Hold your foot up for me. Good. Turn it in a bit. That's it. Hold that up for me as strong as you can. That's a beautiful looking uh, TBLS anterior right there. <laughs> yeah. You could do some tib ant modeling. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that up for me. Don't let me pull your foot down. Good. One more time. Yeah, that feels good to me. Hold this one up. Good. Hold. 
Definitely no shin weakness there. Cross your arms, we're gonna test your abs here. Crunch, rotate, hold for me. Hold it, get it relaxed. This next one's gonna be really hard. I want you to sit all the way up. It might hurt a little bit. I hate this position, you realize yeah. that, right? As long as it's not too much pain, okay? Yeah. I want you to crunch down as much as you can. Is that it? Oh, down Yes, forward. rotate. You okay? Yeah. Okay, keep your feet together for me. Uh, rotate, hold for me, hold for me. You got strength there. I think you're just tight. Go back down here. All right, let's get to work. Knees up. Oh, I'm exhausted. Are we done yet? <laughs> you didn't know you were going to get a workout, did you? So, for sure, the, the glute is not firing. So my first pick of try for this is to really loosen and stimulate and get these hip flexors to work better. Yep. The abs are hip flexors, core flexors. The psoas is the largest hip flexor in the body. It connects the upper body to the lower body. So we want to work that psoas. We want to work that iliacus, another hip flexor. A lot of clients are always like, oh, my hip flexor is tight. I'm like, let me tell you something. There are a lot of hip flexors. Right. Yeah. I didn't realize the psoas was considered a hip flexor. The biggest hip flexor. Interesting. It also helps, you know, it innervates with the diaphragm. So it really helps you breathe. Mm -hmm. And it's always contracted, sitting, standing. It's always contracted. Yeah, this work will, will help you breathe. This is going to be interesting. This is right where that rib was. Mm -hmm. Feel some stuff in there. Yeah, from that bike mm -hmm. fall that mm -hmm. only took six mm -hmm. months to heal. Deep breath for me. Exhale, blow it all out. Shh, relax the belly. Relax the belly. Good. Good. Nice and So, in some ways, is it bad doing abdominals? I mean, it's not like I'm specifically doing too much right now, actually, because I was. Yeah told to stop yes um so it's really just from swimming pilates ah when i want to talk this is what i do no, I'm just <laughs> ah you son of a yeah ah good blow all the air out for me blow it all out blow it all out relax the belly let it go let it go okay a little cross fiber friction here deep inhale Exhale. Exhale. All air. All air. Inhale. The diaphragm expands down, so you can get your fingers under the rib cage there and try to palpate that diaphragm when it expands down. Inhale. Exhale. That nice. uh, hurts. Yeah. Like. Yeah. A beep. It's just a warm up. The problem with core exercises mm -hmm. oftentimes is that there are you know sets of abs right and we tend to kind of only do the same motions right, right. we're flexing a lot you know or, oh, yeah doing the abs yeah 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 um but we never really strengthen the deeper abdominal muscles and i think slowing everything down mm -hmm. really focusing on contraction and the transverse abdominis to me yeah. is really the key muscle to strengthen. That's actually a transversal, yeah. a horizontal muscle that actually goes all the way to the low back. And um, when that transverse abdominis doesn't work really well, we don't breathe really well um, because it's, it's horizontal really helps rotation of the hip. It's considered a, a minor internal rotator of the hip. Mm -hmm. So to really strengthen that transverse abdominis, you know, you have to pull in the belly button. Um, you have to, you know, do rotational things and you have to work with the breath. Um, Sounds a lot like what I do with Pilates. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. And sometimes that's really challenging though, to just, ah. if, it's, if it's inhibited, you ah. know? Yeah. These are obliques. That's horrible. I know. Oh. Exactly. Lift your left foot one inch for me. I knew that yeah. Was Back down. How tender is this? Um, not I mean, too terrible. It doesn't feel great, yeah. but it's not like some of the other spots you've yeah. had. I'm leaving all kinds of cool marks on your abs. Sorry. Sweet. Left foot up. 
The tattoo I always wanted. Yeah. That feels like my pancake. All right, we're going Iliacus here. Oh, God. Right inside the Iliac crest here. Lift your left foot up for me. Back down. Put your left hand on your chest for me here. Okay, see if you can let go of the abs. Let go. Let go. Deep breath for me. Exhale. Good. Another breath. A little bit slower. Inhale. Maybe count to five or six. Keep your foot here, don't let me pull. Don't let me pull. It's better already. <laughs> well, we didn't do this side so we can see. Hold here nice and strong. Hold. Oh my god. See how, see how much? And that's yeah. external rotation strength yeah. there. Mostly. Some so guys too, I think. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, that is a key place. Yeah. I can tell you that right now that yeah. that is extremely special. The ah. obliques and, and possibly a little bit of the TVA, um, although I don't think you can really massage the TVA unless you get to the attachments, but it wraps around to that yeah. QL where you're having a lot yeah. of issues. Yeah. Yeah, that is a key spot yeah. of what's happening. Deep breath for me. <sighs> Did you get that book yet, breath? Did we talk about this? Breath. Well, I was thinking about it in the pool today. So good. This, I feel I'm halfway through and I'm like, I think it's just now starting to talk about what you can do about it. I thought the most profound thing in the book was really that we, I, I could have this wrong, but I believe we have more carbon dioxide in the body than oxygen and that we can utilize carbon dioxide a lot better than we can with oxygen. A lot of people don't do that. Um, and there's a lot to do with training exhalation, which I, I think what's cool about reading this book is it's making me realize when you do body work, there's inhalation muscles and there's exhalation muscles. There's muscles that help contract and we can work on those muscles to get them to work better, to help you breathe better, just like the diaphragm. Right. And if you can make breathing muscles work better, I mean, change right. your life. This right here for me. Don't let me press. Oh, it. that's too bad. Where do you feel it? Uh, in my hip flexor. In the hip flexor. Yeah, yeah. right in. Yep. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Let's try this one. Put this one up. This will be interesting. I read this groin in high school. Huh? That one's not as bad. I find that to be more of a transverse abdominus test because there's a little bit more flexion and the TVA is more internal rotation. Uh -huh. But not good on that one. Go face down for me. Okay. Lift this up as high as you can. We're going to see if this has improved yet. Hold for me. That's definitely better. Remember you couldn't hold that? Yeah. Lift up. Hold. See how much stronger that is? Yep. Now what did we do? We worked completely on the the abs and yep. the psoas. Yep. So now we know the glute fires better when we only oh, work on right. the abs. I couldn't even hold that side, could I? They oh, always, I they always forget. <laughs> and literally, a hundred percent of time, they forget. They're like, oh yeah, I did it. They totally forgot. <laughs> well, how convenient. Yeah. That was amazing. Well, you'll see it in the YouTube video. You'll be like, oh my God, I got sleepy glute syndrome. I got SGS. It's yeah. not a real thing. A little, little, little hyperbole action. You ready? Have you ever tried this before? Oh! oh no. Ah! That's like the worst of everything you've done today. It's better. It's better? Way better. Woo! Way better. Like crazy.